I guess first, let me get an evaluation first. Has the arts uh, evolved in St. Louis? What do you see the state of St. Louis arts? So it's really interesting. We actually were just discussing this, and I think that there we has had the been... Room. The room was bogged. Okay. <laughs> there has been an extraordinary uh, growth of the art world, and I mean that in terms of practicing artists, in terms of venues in which their work can be seen, in terms of the redevelopment of certain neighborhoods that have become kind of art-centric even in the last two years and then we were I, I've only been here for two years so my my past history is relatively short but right. you were right. talking about and, it yeah and I'm a native of st. Louis however I uh, lived away for quite some time and then my wife and I moved back in about 2002 and um, we thought it was gonna be a layover we had <laughs> gotten bit by the East Coast bug we love New York that's where we had been um, but it didn't turn out to be a layover you know and 12 years later we're we're like our eyes started opening and we started seeing things changing and we started seeing uh, as Lisa was saying like these opportunities and possibilities and uh, some of it was initiative made by individuals artists arts collectives some of it was institution driven like getting behind those individuals and helping but um, just some really interesting things and I think that momentum is what you know sort of segueing back to this notion of the future and that momentum is where it might you know take us to the future what that might look like, I don't know. Same question. It is your your assessment of how things are changing, or are they changing? What have you seen in the last few years? I think so. You know, um, definitely. I think as a whole, our society is changing to be a little bit more liberal um, culturally, and are a little bit more open-minded towards different possibilities. And now that we have access to everything online, and we can see what's going on in other parts of the country, we know what we can do. Um, and I think it'll be really interesting to see what happens when future generations start to have more of an impact on the community and, and see it grow. Um, and then, like we were saying, people tend to come here and stay here and get involved in the city and whatever can help the city grow, they are full-hearted involved in that process. And you can definitely see that in the arts here. That is a fascinating component of this I hadn't thought about. With, with, uh, there are websites that you get hooked mm -hmm. on, uh, mm -hmm. that, that friends pass around links to things at other museums Pinterest or other installations. That, yeah. yeah, other things you wouldn't yeah. otherwise know Around about. Around the world, yeah. So maybe uh, are we plugged in to what's going on in the country? Oh, for sure. I think that that's absolutely the case. And I think that that's, again, something that you see both on an individual level as artists working in the community. Artists have always paid attention to each other mm -hmm. and that's what sort of allowed them to grow their practice and certainly we do it institutionally too. You know, we're really interested from a museum perspective what is happening in other museums and you know, oftentimes I think um, we really like to look at our cohorts around the country to get a sense of um, what are they doing. I, I feel like a lot of times it's not only the work that they're showing but a good idea is an idea worth stealing yeah. for your own community and that through um, all of the digital media that we have available to us has really allowed us to, I think, think about good ideas and right. models for creative endeavor. Right. I'm paraphrasing, but I think it was Picasso who said something like, you know, steal it, make it better, and then it becomes your own. You right, know, or that's like right. That, you, know? So. you know, I think it was Picasso that said, steal it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so where does the, what, what is the role for kind of the established uh, the institutions, the, the art fair, where, where, what's the establishment role in this kind of evolution or this ex experimentation we've heard about tonight? I mean, I think the a really active, good, and healthy arts community now and in the future is an ecosystem that is ever more populated. And so I think what ends up happening is that the institutions need um, individuals, they need more feral organizations, they need larger and bigger organizations to all kind of work together to again populate this landscape with as many choices for what art is and expression is and what it can be and to kind of explore the definitions. So I think institutionally what's important is to sort of look at what is your mission, what is your niche, what is what you are doing against what other institutions and organizations and individuals are doing and just make sure that everybody's giving sort of a different voice in the chorus so that all together you can be really lively, vibrant. Um, so for us, obviously, at the Contemporary Art Museum, it's about contemporary art. But I think that 
we wouldn't necessarily be a vital voice in the course without an encyclopedic institution like SLAM or without a smaller institution like White Flag or without an artist residency like, you know, Paul Artspace. So I, I think that it's very much about keeping in step and in communication with what else is around you and finding the different path that you can forge. It's easily accessible too. There was a really good article, I guess the Huffington Post had posted about St. Louis and you know all the hidden gemstones of St. Louis and of course everything always comes back to art and one of the things that kind of took me you know stayed with me was how St. Louis treats the arts as a public right and not a exclusive privilege so like she was saying if you feed off of each other and help each other other organizations you know Chesterfield Arts working with other organizations such as CAM you know you're making it more easily accessible for everyone and then in turn it will it'll grow and flourish right. and, I, and I think you know it's it's also a bit about uh, in terms of keeping it, you know, moving forward, keeping it progressive, um, you know, having the larger institution, but then having those upstart, the more grassroots totally. things, and it's a sort of checks and balance of things, you know, and it's whether you're thinking of like, you know, okay, we're listening to what the institution says, and maybe we have critique of that, or maybe we're going to say we didn't find what we needed there, so we're going to create it ourselves. But it's all of that that begins to build this really strong fiber and something that's very rich. 